Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump drops everything and heads to Melania's side during overwhelming legal drama. The current administration has been dealing with an excessive amount of drama and political controversy in the last few weeks, especially in light of everything that has been going on in court as it pertains to Paul Manafort and Michael Cohen, former Trump campaign officials and Trump employees. However, President Trump and First Lady Melania are taking some time away from it all to work with small children and local hospitals on their philanthropic and healthcare initiatives. The Daily Mail reported. Donald Trump escaped his troubles in Washington during a visit to a children's hospital in Ohio with Melania, as special counsel Robert Mueller's net closes in. The president and first lady put on a united front Friday following the most challenging week of Trump's presidency. The Trumps toured the neonatal intensive care unit of an Ohio children's hospital that treats babies affected by the opioid epidemic. The opioid crisis, which claims the lives of tens of thousands of people a year, has been a key focus for Trump. Melania and Trump accompanied by Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Cesar, visited the Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus before attending a fundraiser and delivering the keynote address at the Ohio Republican Party's state dinner. After touring the medical unit, Trump sat with slightly older children as they colored pictures of American flags and hearts with red, white and blue. He appeared to be concentrating intensely as he colored his flag, before telling the kids they were doing a great job. Trump last visited Ohio on August 4 to rally for U.S. House candidate Troy Balderson, a GOP state senator. Balderson was certified Friday as the winner of a special election to fill the unexpired term of longtime Republican Congressman Pat Tiberi, who retired in January. Trump's trip to Ohio may be a welcome diversion from a difficult week as two of his closest aides, former campaign chairman Paul Manafort and former lawyer Michael Cohen were convicted of serious crimes. Manafort was found guilty of eight charges of bank and tax fraud, while Cohen admitted campaign finance violations over hush money payments to porn star Stormy Daniels and former Playboy playmate Karen McDougal during the 2016 election. His guilty plea also implicated Trump, while Cohen's lawyer Lanny Davis said that his client also had information about the Trump Foundation. On Friday, the world learned Trump Organization executive Alan Weisselberg got an immunity deal in a move that does not bode well for Trump. Weisselberg, the chief financial officer of the Trump Organization, is both a bookkeeper and a key executive running the organization who is familiar with major aspects of the organization. News of Weisselberg's immunity deal comes a day after it was revealed American Media Incorporated publisher David Pecker received immunity. Pecker's firm paid McDougal $150,000 and promised magazine covers and work in exchange for the life rights of her story about an affair with a married man. Although Cohen himself has no known cooperation agreement with prosecutors, he pleaded guilty to eight counts and said he was directed by an individual, Trump, to violate campaign finance laws. Trump has taken to calling his longtime lawyer a rat, while praising convicted former campaign chair Paul Manafort for not breaking under pressure. A Virginia jury convicted Manafort on eight counts this week. The Dispatch reported. According to the White House, Nearly 200 babies were admitted to Nationwide Children's last year for symptoms of neonatal abstinence syndrome NAS, the medical term for withdrawal symptoms suffered by newborns whose mothers exposed them to heroin or other opioids during pregnancy. It's an incredibly tragic situation, Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Cesar said in a phone interview before the visit. Nationwide is such a leader in developing some of the best treatments for NAS. Azar said the visit was planned largely because of Melania Trump's focus on the issue. The First Lady has visited other such units and programs aimed at helping drug-dependent infants. Rates of neonatal abstinence syndrome have risen sharply in recent years, Azar said. In 2016, Ohio's rate stood at about 155 per 10,000 live births, he said. The President and First Lady then visited the hospital's clubhouse, a playroom with lots of child-sized tables and chairs. Republican Ohio Senator Rob Portman and his wife, Jane Portman, joined the Trumps along with Azar and senior counselor to the President Kellyanne Conway. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.